Many readers who do attempt to make use of the Torah often find it either irrelevant or so confusing that they throw up their hands in despair, frustrated at its perceived impenetrability. Interestingly, despite the cruel and bitter criticism and dismissiveness, the same people continue to propose moral principles from these laws and gather proof texts to solve the issues that arise in society by offering the biblical view. As a result, both Christians and skeptics regularly abuse the Torah as it is misrepresented and misunderstood. And its true message too often lies either fallow or trampled underfoot. If we seek to be faithful interpreters, we need to be readers who read the text in an informed and careful manner, who are consistent in the methods that we use, who refuse to manipulate the text to our own ends, and who respect the autonomy under which divine authority operates. We must interpret in light of a sound understanding of the language and literature of the text, including how the genre works. We must be committed to seeking what the original communicators intended to say, no more, no less. We dare not incorporate ideas into the text that were not in their purview. In modern Western societies, law is formal. It is written, that is codified, and enforced by agencies and institutions. You have the judiciary and then the police. Such an approach to legislation is referred to as statutory law. Given how deeply entrenched this idea of law is, it is instinctive for us to imagine that law in other societies function in the same way. That is one major presupposition that most bring to the Torah. In our world, or in our modern world, our handling of what we call the biblical law, the Torah, sways between two things. Number one, heated controversy. And then number two, total neglect. Neglect results when we consider the law obsolete no longer carrying any normative power. People ask, why do we wear tassels on clothing, sacrifices? Controversies, on the other hand, arises when Torah laws seem odd beyond comprehension. Not eating shrimp, not eating pork, or morally inexcusable. Executing of children, for example. As faithful interpreters of Torah, we must seek understanding of how the genre works, what the paragraphs of legal sayings meant in their context, and what significance, if any, they should have for people today seeking to order their lives and society in faithful submission to God's word. The most important interpretive question is not, what is this statement telling me to do? in order to represent God properly. No, I'll repeat that. The most important interpretive question is not, what is this statement telling me to do in order to represent God properly? The question we should ask first is, why is this in here? Because that will help us address the literary task. In this course, we will provide information about the Torah that will help readers to become more aware of how this biblical literature function in its context. That is, why this literature was presented in this particular way and why what it says in this form was important enough to be regarded as scripture. Then we will penetrate the Hebrew text to understand how the Torah was meant to function 
for the ancient Israelites. Only then will we be in the position to inquire what the authoritative significance of the Torah is for us. Welcome to Law and Order, Torah Victims Unit with Rabbi Akwete Amah.